In today's tutorial, we will be learning how to check whether our phone is connected to the internet or not. Open an empty Android Studio project, open its layout file, drag and drop a button and change its ID to meeting and check. Now drag and drop a text view and change its ID to TV status. Delete the text and change the button stick to check. Open main activity to Java and create a text view object and a button object. We can reference the button and text view in our layout file using Find View Pad. In this app, we will be using Wally library to make a HTTP request. In order to do that, we have to add the dependencies. Open Google and search for Wally library. Click on the first link and scroll down to copy the dependency file. Open module level build.grading and in the dependency section, paste that line and click sing down. Now open android manifest.xml file and add the line to request internet access. Now back in our main activity file, create a string request object. The string request is used to make HTTP request using world library. It takes four arguments. The first one is a method. It can either be get or post. The second one is the URL. Here we are using google.com. The third one is a response listener and the fourth one is an error listener. Now set an on-click listener for button check. Inside that, create a new volley request queue and add our string request. What happens when the button is clicked is the button's on click method is called, which in turn creates a new volley request queue and adds our string request. The string request has four parts the method part, the URL part, and the response listener part, which is called if the device is connected to the internet. And the error listener is called if the device is not connected to the internet. So inside the response listener, we will change the text to use text to device is connected. Inside the error listener, we will change the text to use text to no internet. Now let's run this app in our phone. See the app is not, the phone is not connected to the internet, so it shows no internet. Now let's turn on the Wi-Fi and check again and now it says the device is connected to the internet now let's run off the wifi and check again and now it says no internet 